Hey creatives! So for this week's video I'm going to show you guys how to make some flat quarter bunting. So welcome to 5 Minute Fat Quarters. This is the series where I teach you some fun and fabulous fat quarter makes in 5 minutes or less. So without further ado, let's get on with this week's fat quarter make. To make this bunting you'll need two fat quarters, some scissors, a ruler, some chalk, some clips or pins, matching thread and a sewing machine, scrap material or some ready made bias binding and a square of cardboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make our stencil for the flags for the bunting. So mine was nine inches on each of the three sides to create a triangle and then cut that out and we're going to use that as the basis for the rest of our material. We're then going to draw around this cardboard triangle as many times as we can possibly fit onto our fat quarter. So I managed to cut out six triangles from each fat quarter. That would leave me with six flags for my bunting. If you want any more flags attaching to your bunting, so you want to make a longer bunting, then just use some extra fat quarters. So this is my fully cut out triangles. You then need to grab two triangles and pop them one on top of the other, the right side of the material facing together, so the wrong side of the material is facing outwards on both the triangles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew around these, we're going to leave a little gap on one edge just so that we can flip it the other way around. And we're going to do this for all our triangles that we have cut out. We're then going to go through and using the little gaps that we left we're going to turn all of the bunting the right way around. Use a pencil or a pen just to make sure that you've pushed out all those corners and everything is all nice and even and where it's supposed to be. So if you're making your own bias binding you will probably need a couple of long strips of the same material quite thin strips would be better so feel free to stitch some together. The basic principle is you're going to take the material, you're going to fold either side into the middle and then you're going to fold the whole thing in half. And then what that's going to do is that's going to give us a little opening, a little pocket for us to tuck our bunting into and we're just going to sew along the whole thing. So I had this ready-made bias binding which still was a little bit too thick so I did have to fold it in the same way but what I did find a little bit easier about this bias binding is it comes in a really really nice big long strip so it is quite easy to use you're not having to sew strips together but just use whatever way is best for you if you don't have any of this then scraps will work just as well. So from one end I started folding so it was a little bit thinner and it was the right size that I wanted and as I was going along I was clipping it all into place and tucking the triangles of bunting in it and clipping it as well. Don't forget to make sure that the edge of the bunting you're tucking into the binding is where we left that gap to turn the bunting the right way around and we can stitch over that and that will just close that. I'm also measuring the gap in between each triangle to make sure that the distance is the same just for the overall professionalism of the finish. Then we're simply going to sew a straight stitch along the bias binding to secure it all in place. Just keep an eye out on the bottom side as you're sewing just to make sure that the stitches are going through both sides of the bias binding otherwise you will end up with some gaps and it'll just look really messy if you have to go and sew back over them. That is our bunting finished so this is surprisingly really really easy for something that looks quite complicated you can personalize this as much as you want make them as long as you want or as short as you want with as many flags on it as you would like you can alternate the sides so you can have a different material on either side of the bunting so you can flip it round just be creative and do whatever you like with these you've enjoyed this video drop me a comment down below if you tried this or any of my other fat quarter makes don't forget to show me some love and hit that thumbs up down below make sure you subscribe for more diy fun and creative crafty content and hit that notification bell and you will be notified every time i upload a video 
So I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep creative. Bye.